I'm going to make a basic sponge cake, but it's a sponge cake with a bit of a twist. And when I say a bit of a twist, it's adding the fruits that we have every day and it's everywhere. Let's just get to it right away. So first of all, I'm using a 380 grams measurement. So we've got our butter. You can use butter and margarine, whatever you find easily available. But I'm going to use um, butter today. Okay. And then what we do first is just pop it in the bowl and then just um, make it a bit softer. This is a basic sponge cake that goes very well for any occasion at all. It's quite um, rich and at the same time it's a simple cake which gives a lot of flavor because of the orange addition. So let's get started. So I've softened the butter a bit and then we have 380 grams of sugar going in as well, which is equal measurement to the butter. Let's pop that in. Scrape everything. Okay, I'm just gonna mix that in with the spatula before I turn the mixer. Okay. Right, so we're gonna um, put this on high for about two to three minutes just until we get really light um, soft peaks. Okay, so if you look into our bowl, you can see it's pale, it's gotten lighter in color, and the sugar has incorporated itself into the butter. So it's time to it's time to add our eggs. We're using four eggs today, and I'll try and get them in one at a time. So stay with me here. Okay, one, and it's full speed ahead. Okay, the second one goes in. Okay, so all the eggs are in. At this point, you should preheat your oven. Obviously, it's best if you actually start um, the preheating process before you start any of this. It should preheat uh, for about 20 minutes before you get all this started. So mine is already going at 220 degrees. So now we're onto our vanilla. Now the extract is quite difficult to get here, so I'm using the essence, and I've got one tablespoon of vanilla essence, which is going in as well. Okay. So that done, we're now going to mix in the dry ingredients. This is 380 degrees of flour. Um, pre-sifted pre flour, so try and do that before um, you mix the rest of the ingredients in. I've got three tablespoons of baking powder I'm just going to add in and I'm going to use um, half a teaspoon of salt again just to give it that savoury flavour to the cake. I'm just going to mix all this in Make sure you mix it right in so the baking powder is properly incorporated into the flour. Okay, and we're gonna mix this, put it in the batter in three batches. Now, here's a freshly squeezed orange juice. So, if it gets too thick, we'll use um, the orange juice to loosen the batter up a bit. Okay. Okay. 
This is a very easy cake to make, especially if you get your measurements right. So this is the second batch of flour going in. The batter is still nice, airy and fluffy. So just mix that in. So just make sure you scrape the sides of the bowl. If you don't have a stand mixer, it's not a problem. You can always use your hand mixer. And if you haven't got a hand mixer, then you just have to mix by hand. More power to you. <laughs> Okay, so the last batch is of flour is going right in. Make sure you get good quality flour because that can make or break your, your cake. So you can see it's nice and soft. Just fold it in one last time. Make sure you get the bottom of the bowl. Okay, good. So I'm going to pop this in the baking tray. I've got two 23 inches baking pans, but you can use whatever size you have, whatever is available. I'm just going to try and make sure I do two equal parts so they bake evenly and at the same time. Right now with the remaining batter, I'm going to show you the twist. Now I've got zest of two oranges which I'm just going to pop in here now this gives it a really intense orange flavor I'm just going to mix that and add it so it more or less sits on top of the cake and gives it that orangey flavor can see both cake pans are filled with the batter so we're going to bake it at 200 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes just make sure you keep an eye on them so they don't get too brown and once you insert a, a toothpick or a knife in the middle and it comes back clean then your cake is ready As you can see here the cakes are ready you see when it springs back to the touch and when a knife is inserted in it comes out clean so watch out for the next episode where we're going to make a nice soft savory sweet buttery icing and we're going to ice get these babies iced up okay so until i come your way next time do take care of yourself and get baking Bye.